Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing. This is a big discussion I've seen online about the different types of floats. This particular carburetor has the fiber float and I'm going to pull it up here and show you why the fiber float is not as good as the brass float. Okay, so here it is. Here's the float. And what has happened on this, I'm just going to use my little paper clip, but you know the end of a spray nozzle works good too. I'm going to pull this out, complete with the needle. I'm going to look at this one, and what happened here is this one has cracked. Right here you can see a crack. On the top you can see some crack, but that probably doesn't affect the functionality. This one here certainly does, because what happens then is there's looseness here at the prong and the gasket just does this. Okay, so it's way loose and then the needle will not seat properly which leads to the pump pumping in more fuel than the carburetor can handle. And the carburetor uh, starts to flood out the engine. You'll see if you take the air cleaner off you'll see fuel spraying up out of the carburetor. That's yeah, because it just cannot get a good solid seat. You know, this this looks good. If you look at it, you say, wow, that's that looks pretty, it's almost right. I don't have the gasket on here, okay, but there's supposed to be about an eighth of an inch from the gasket up here, but there's an eighth of an inch, and just there's just so much flexing here. Um, there is no really home base. There's that much flexing because of that crack, and it's usually worse, I think, when it was wet with fuel. So, basically, if you were to replace it today, you get one of these brass carburetors, uh, brass floats. And not only does it have the new needle, it's not shown, or the end uh, the bar, but there's also like a little helper spring here that helps return it back home. Keeps it from dropping down too far into the bowl because it is a little bit thinner than the fiber and has a tendency of dropping, you know, if there's a, if there's a limit within the carburetor like here this tends to want to drop even more which sometimes leads to the needle valve getting stuck open so that helper valve helps kind of keep it going back upward but keep that in mind if you're having some flooding problems good luck